To start a gross building area plan, choose the Area Plan tool from the Home tab. We'll designate a gross building area type. Choose the level whose plan we are creating. Revit automatically used the exterior walls as the initial starting area boundaries. Let's focus here on Quad Building 1. We'll begin by choosing the Area Boundary Line tool. In the Area Boundary Editor, we can choose how to draw the lines. We will pick walls. As we place them, blue lines appear. Our objective is to bound out areas to be allocated to a few academic departments. Once areas are totally enclosed by boundary lines, we can place the area objects themselves with the area tool. Revit senses the bounded areas defined by the lines that we placed. These areas then become elements to which we can assign other parameters. We've already added another parameter to indicate the department. That's why it appears here in the Properties palette. We'll now go back through and click on each area to fill in that department parameter. Here we have Civil Engineering. urban planning, and so forth. Finally, we can add a legend. Using the legend tool, a dialog appears which asks us for the space type and which parameter to color code. Choose department. Default colors are assigned and we can easily modify those later in the edit legend tool. Now we'll create an area schedule to quantify these department space allocations. Choose the area gross building. We'll select the fields area, department, level, and perimeter. Let's group and sort first by department and second by area, including some totals by department. And in formatting, I'll write justify some of the number fields. And we'll click OK. Now let's place both the area plan and the schedule in a standard D sheet. We'll drag those onto the sheet. the level 3 area plan and right from the sheet I can activate either view to make further edits. I'll crop the region so I'm only seeing quad building 1.
We can do the same with the schedule, drag and drop it onto the sheet. I can adjust the column widths for better readability. I see that I forgot to include area subtotals and grand totals. From the properties palette, we can enter into the schedule properties, directly going to formatting, and there we'll click calculate totals. Schedules allow us to quickly verify the accuracy of our modeling. I see from the large grand total that there is something off. It seems that there was an extra unintended area counted. Since I don't want to include that, I'll delete that directly from the schedule and that change is reflected everywhere.